after this battle with the mills. I wanna fuck you. Ready herself for the next clash with the MILF guardian force. Me call the lesson she received as a girl. Mm, about the continent's geography, my young lady, the MILF guardian's empire domain is large enough to contain the kingdom of Lyria. Not once, not twice, but thirty times over, he explained. Thirty, the queen sighed. How can I hope to defeat Colossus in such a feat ever possible? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, nope. Nope, nope. Must be oh, an important lesson in this. But what? Yeah. Hello, Jim. Left, right, left, left right. right. Left. 101, 102, 103. 102, 102. You'll never take me alive! Again, again, again. again. Your life is mine now! Is it? Drummer boy gets a hobo. A time to reap, a time to sow, and a time to die. Get out a hobo. I won't play a hobo. Ah, should have listened to me, old no, lady. Hit these guys. Ah! In ten, they might surrender because we got a lot more points than them. They did, so we'll pass. So everything goes away. So, I'm banned. Yeah. We want to get rid of Nickers, because we can get Nickers out if we play another in the card. Oh, we'll keep this one, because it was hurt. Oh, do I not get to discard cards? Army's a waste of time for one like me. So. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Wise choice. Wise choice. Okay, Hobo Jim summons Archer Boy. Archer Boy with Hobo. Hobo. Yeah. And then we'll play, I guess, Knickers. Play card on this row, please, so I can kill that archer. Now, now. That's fine. Archer boy dies. Come back. And then we'll play a uh, fire boy. Are you mad? Don't shake that! Yeah. Yeah. Ending uh, Hail Herta. You put up quite a show. No, they don't hurt. They really had me going. Summer this could hurt. Uh, okay. Discipline shall bring us victory. You can drum a boy, Archer. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six. Kill that. And then we'll give you a point. And then we'll drum a boy. Summon a drum boy. Left, right. right. Left, right. They're pretty, they're pretty screwed. He has these many cards to get like yes. a million points. And we have this many cards to beat that. Okay. No. Uh, let's go. This one. Boost that guys. You can kill their guys. Bam. Bam. Now it's time. Oh. He ate the delicious elf and elf here in. That's Archer Boy. Let's do some lowest fire highs. He gets 30. He gets burnt. He'll shoot us once. Bam. And and Bam. Bam. Oh, we didn't use Drum Boy. Drum Boy gets his Drum Boy. Again and again no. and again. That. 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 That's annoying. Let's get healed. Let's, let's knock this guy back. Back. Okay, he's got four points. We got 173. Don't so We play this. Bigger they are, yeah, easier they are to target. target. Yep. And let's go farm boy. This harvest will be okay. reaping black clad hands. You really had me going. I to doom anime. Now I'm boosted by the hills. I didn't boost at all, so I don't. Think about slings. Ba, 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 ba. They hide well. 
thing about slings is they hide well. Mm, Don't pass. It's away 190 points. My prescription. Prescription is to surrender. Mm. A highly curious case. Mm, curious. A curious case of you lost. Fucking milfs. The ground up. Milfs. Actually, the orders are filled. We relinquished over 30 head of cattle from the local populace. Slaughtered them and left them under the sun. Once the carcasses have reached the appropriate level of rot, as turned from the medics, uh, they were sent to the artillery division. Ooh, that's just gross. They're launching rotted cows at the, the men. That is quite a show. Almost too entertaining. Yeah, where do we want to go? Okay, so we're going north this way. And then we go south, and then we go east. In this kind of weird, weird circle. Oh, hello? Coming across a small brook, Meave ordered her soldiers to replenish their water supplies. When they returned, it was with empty water skins and troubled expressions. Milady, the water tastes of blood. Uh, not like black pudding, mind, but uh, rancid, uh, filthy. Meave had no choice but to filthy. march on. She gulped dryly and wondered how to interpret this strange event. Oh, no. An omen, perhaps? Or? A warning from the gods? She soon learned the truth. Following the brook upstream, the Lyrians arrived at a corpses. small pool. Bobbing on its surface were dozens of corpses. A young woman caught Meave's gaze, her long hair spread delicately atop the water, I wide open hair. eyes reflecting the sky, a fine nose peppered with freckles, and a gaping wound slashed across her throat. We shall stop here, the queen said calmly, and give these souls a proper burial. Clean up this water. Reynard send scouts. Tell them they are not to return until they ascertain what has happened here. When the scouts returned a while later, they brought with them a barefooted peasant they'd found hiding in the woods. They claimed he hailed from Horton, a nearby village, the village whose inhabitants had been murdered. Then black-clad wretches stormed the village, milady. The devil free gave at the fall. Rounded us right up, took us down to the lake. The Whole village <laughs> whined. Then chop, chop, and splosh, splosh. Was I alone? Give him the slip. Meave listened to the man's tale, then placed him in the care of her medics and ordered the Lyrians to break camp. She rode at the head of their column, Reynard at her side, her knuckles gripped white on the reins. Do we know where this Freegef is stationed? Our riders report he's pitched camp to the east. Then east. let's pay him a call. I thought it'd be north. Everything seems to be north. They killed all. Like Rosberg. My lady, please. Make them. Your Majesty Askaus found a fresh grave near the village. It's graved in Nilkarian. Seems an invader was laid to rest there. Judging by the tributes left, he must have had something important. The whole African slaughter still has our soldiers livid, and they wish to destroy the grave. Shall we leave them to it? Eh, take everything of value, you destroy the rest. It's only the Milf's grave. Yeah. Milka, Bezrad, Milfgard, Milfgardian Leviosa. Yo, Milfs, how dare you? The Lyrians had no trouble finding Vrigov's camp. It was the and size of a sprawling town. Meave stopped her caravan and called for a council. The first to speak was Reynard. Seems our scouts were both right and wrong, Your Grace. They did pinpoint General Frigef, the butcher of Horton. Unfortunately, they underestimated his detachment. It is much larger and better armed than our own. Okay, let's kill him anyway. That changes nothing, Meave said, forestalling all protest. If I leave him unpunished, He'll without so much as an attempt, I shall never be able to face my reflection again. We must attack. Reynard bowed and passed the order to the Lyrians. We're gonna attack. Later that same day, Meave and Vrigif's forces stood face to face on the field of battle. Meath expected General Lovagarth's contingency to parallel his Novellilliani. She imagined a 
face disfigured with scars. He's, um, that looks like a scar, I guess. Yellow teeth, his mouth's closed. And since the eye patch covering his hollow socket, he's not got that. Instead, she bore witness to a disgusted, distinguished gentleman in his 40s with a really just trim beard. His beard's fine. It appeared kind of normal. Defeat the MILF's army or eliminate the general. Special rules shall not Do you expect me to bring the nasty? Get rid of her and Nick is go and uh, you. Mm, mm, spy goes. Mm, you go. Mm, hobo go. Come out, free guest! It's time you pay for your crimes! Yeah, have got a What's hobo? My spirit's willing Let's... and how, but these damn boots are Ugh. killing You deserve to die! There! Frigga! I see him! We've got to catch him! Every turn on turn stop. Damage the lowest ally by 10 and boost the highest ally by 5. Ooh. I mean, let's just fire. Watch your heads! <laughs> yep. Oh, so he's gonna boost the castle gate, I guess. No, he does not. He just summons Hobo. Your life is mine now! Your life is mine now! Well, we can summon Archer Boy. Give me Archer Boy. That's fine. Oh, we could have. Hit him. Wise choice. Horses. Do you expect me? Left. Right. Without Left. Nothing. Right. Ugh. No A. Order! No A. The thing about slings is uh, uh, uh. they hide well. The thing about slings is they hide again well. And again and again and again. Again and again and again. Hell cats out! Here's all well, I see me. Remove the immune when you die. Drama boy summons hobo boy. A time to reap, a time to sow. Archer a boy. Tracy McBean. So I'm summoning these shield boys. I guess. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no, a uh, no a uh, no a no a yeah. Okay, well, let's hit them. Mmm, bam. And then let's play, I guess, Valerian Horn. Summons Nickers. So Nickers gonna eat this health and onion soup. Nickers, are you gonna eat it? No? Keep one charge to unit on the right. Fireball. So the power each unit on the right to average the rest of it. Yeah, bam. Did I just power them up? Seven. Do we win? Sounds easy. Nickers? The Lyrians won the day, despite their foe's distinct advantage. Historians later ascribed Meave's victory to her light troop's superior maneuverability in the difficult terrain compared to the plate clad Nilf Guardians. But if you ask me, huh? that wasn't it at all. A storm of fury had been quietly gathering in the Lyrians' hearts, 
A squall of rage stoked by the Nilfgaardians' unparalleled cruelty towards the conquered. And no one embodied this barbarism more perfectly than General Frigif. Reeve's men were ready to sacrifice anything to see him punished. They dragged the defeated general before Meave. The Queen wished to learn why he'd ordered the execution of an entire village. How the Nilfgaardians could possibly justify such a crime. Two weeks prior, I'd sent a detachment to Horton to procure feed. Captain Gaynor commanded it. While he was verifying their grain stores, they barricaded him in the barn and put it to flame. The Queen listened to I the general's story, her face a mask, betraying nothing. Murdered. One man was murdered. Frigif raised his eyes to Meeves. The Queen was surprised to see them wet with tears. Yes, my lady. My son. The general's simple words bore pain, grief, and a thirst for revenge that would never be slaked. The Queen had to decide what to do with Frigif. No doubt the General had earned punishment, the harshest possible at that. Yet, such a weighty personage could fetch a hefty ransom, and Meave's army desperately needed the gold. Hmm. Ransom. In the, end, the Queen decided to return the General for a golden ransom. Whether she chose the path out of mercy, moved by the Nilfgaardians' tears, mm. or out of pure material calculation, sensing an excellent chance to replenish her war chest, was the first it one. is hard to say. One thing is certain. Her men were crestfallen at the news. They had challenged Frigif's greatly superior forces in the name of justice, not gold. Oh. Oh no. Well, they're sad again, so it's fine. They were already sad to begin with. Ooh, some wood. And, yeah, golden wood. Yeah. And this is also golden wood. Thank you. Gold, wood, wood, gold, gold, wood. Thanks. What's this? Golden wood. Yeah, I'm sure it paid off. 